Richard Southern joins us once again. And Richard, you're pondering a question we've all asked at one point or another. Are we humans alone in this universe? You believe in aliens, Erica? I do. Yes. Ooh. It's just so you haven't expansive. Seen, you haven't seen any be... around, have you? No, I haven't. I don't have the okay. evidence yet. <laughs> One man thinks he does, okay? Harvard University physicist Avi Loeb thinks we are indeed not alone in the universe. He's pointing to this. This is an artist's rendering of uh, what was discovered in 2017. They call it Oomwamwa. They gave it a funny name. Mm. But basically, this was an, an object that came from outside of our solar system in October 2017. First thing to come from outside the solar system. At first, they thought, well, it was a comet or an asteroid. But it didn't act like that. This Harvard professor has a new book out, and we're going to look at the book here. That's one of the images they have of the Oumuamua. But this book is called Extraterrestrial, The First Signs of Intelligent Life Beyond Earth. He thinks that object was from an alien civilization. Furthermore, he thinks it's an alien light sail. What's a light sail? I asked the professor. What is a light sail? A light sail is a, a very thin, uh, a sheet of material that uh, has enough area for its uh, weight such that when light bounces off it, that sail gets pushed. And the advantage of using it for space exploration is that you don't need to carry the fuel with the spacecraft. Also, can... One of the things we, are, we do is we send probes to other planets. Do you think this was sent here to collect information about us? It's unlikely that we, we are targeted uh, out of modesty. You know, I don't think that we're special enough to attract attention. It took uh, more than 10,000 years for this object, Oumuamua, to cross the entire solar system, the Oort cloud, from the periphery all the way to the center. And you know, 10,000 years ago, we were not close to being a technological civilization. So why would anyone send it? Do you think we're kind of approaching Oumuamua in the, in the same way as a caveman would approach a cell phone? Nature is much more rich and, and uh, interesting than our imagination uh, very often. And so you have to be open-minded. If you're not open to discovering wonderful things, new things, you will never find them. Erica, for my full fascinating interview with the professor, I head to 680news.com. We're going to put the full thing up there. Are you freaked out by that? The aliens, they might no, be up there. No, I'm not right? freaked out at all. I find it very Good. interesting, actually, to hear from a yeah. Harvard, uh, Harvard guy about that. Very cool. Yeah, me too. All right, and before we wrap up, you've got a special birthday shout-out to give. Back down here on terra firma, I got to give a shout-out to my little niece, Hannah, who's turning oh. to Erica, look where all the cute went in the family. There was none left for me. <laughs> what a darling. Yeah. Happy birthday, Hannah. Happy birthday. I'm trying to turn her into a city news viewer, trying to get her onto our segment. Take a look. It's not going well. Look, Hannah. Hannah, look. Where's Uncle Hannah Richard? Hannah, where's Uncle Richard? Go say hi to Uncle Richard. Look at the kind of TV. Look. Look. There he is. Not Erica. interested. No. We got to say hi. We... Hi, Uncle Richard. Maybe, work maybe, she for was, her. <laughs> maybe she was into the alien talk today. Maybe the alien stuff fascinated hopefully, her. Hopefully, know. Hannah, give us a shot, please. All right, thanks, Richard. We'll see you again tomorrow. Yep.